my sister pulled up and walked in the door and collapsed on the ground. And um, at the time, her and I were at odds. And so I kind of looked at her and said, well, what's your problem? And she looked at me and she said, I'm pregnant. And uh, <laughs> I'll never forget that moment. When you hear those words, even if it's not you, even if it's somebody else that you care about. I'll never forget thinking, oh God, could you just make this all go away? At 19, I went to my college health center. I thought I had the flu, took a pregnancy test, and then that day I found out I was pregnant. I was shocked. I had no idea, and I was so terrified. The nurse that helped me, she was kind, she was compassionate, but her form of compassion was handing me a referral for an abortion. If I had gone to a pregnancy center like ours, I would have had a different experience and a different outcome. It's important for me to impart to my daughters that life is important and deserves to be protected. It should make absolute sense that an American has the right to speak or not speak based on the things that they believe. For my daughters to see me standing up for that, I, I think is of vital importance. Pregnancy centers throughout the country are an incredible asset to our community. They are there because women need help. Many of the women that come into our clinic, they really have two questions on their minds. Am I pregnant? And what am I gonna do about it? And that's why what we do is so powerful because we're not there to force them to make a choice. We're there to actually listen to them and to hear their heart and to be a support system to them. In that time, she's gonna learn about different options that she has from parenting, adoption, and then education on abortion because we do provide education on all of her options, allowing her to make decisions that she feels is best for her. People that are not pro-life are often surprised by the fact that pregnancy centers are here to help even after the decision is made. They learn that we're offering diapers and wipes, baby clothes. Far into the, the child's life, there's ongoing care that it doesn't just end at that moment of decision. We offer pregnancy testing, ultrasounds, and we do not benefit financially from any choice that they make. In fact, we work very hard to go out and raise money so that we can support women in the midst of this situation. I remember we drove past the pregnancy care clinic that was on the way and they had this big banner, you know, free pregnancy tests. And so I asked my friend to stop and I was like, wait, can we, can we go back there? And I want to go there instead. When a client comes into our doors, we spend a lot of time working on making that environment welcoming and an encouraging place to be. What has happened is that California has decided to pass a law that would require us to use our walls as a billboard to promote abortion. The law is requiring us to refer clients or post for where they can go to get a free abortion. It goes against everything we believe in. We're a pro-life pregnancy center. We believe every life is precious, that every life matters, and that every life should be fought for. The abortions that I personally had had really affected me deeply. I wonder if I would have made a different choice for myself if I had known that there was support and that there was someone that would actually care and help me. And it, it, I think it makes a difference to know that there are people that are there for them that care for them. Words matter. What we say to women in the midst of that situation matters in that moment. And the first thing they're gonna see is a sign that says, here's where you can go for a free abortion. When our process is to take her into a room, be able to sit down with her, allow her to express herself, and then walk through the options. Having that message in our waiting room for them to see before we even have an opportunity to interact with her goes against the reason we exist. What they're trying to do is silence the ability of people who advocate for the pro-life position to be able to freely speak their message. And that's what we're, we're debating in the Supreme Court of the United States. They're not trying to do anything other than facilitate 
people choosing abortion and forcing pro-lifers to be the facilitators for that message. It's not something that we want to communicate. Right? And even for myself, if I walked in with my sister into a clinic that had a posting on where to go to have an abortion, I would be confused. When you allow that message to be in our door, there is no end to what we then have to communicate down the road. It's a real privilege to be partnering with NIFLA on this, and by extension, the entire Pregnancy Center movement, because we're all standing together shoulder to shoulder in the Supreme Court. NIFLA helps with legal information and other kinds of practical, best practices information so that these centers are extraordinarily effective in reaching women with the idea that life is a great choice for them. We're about defending the freedom of speech and the free exercise of religion. And this case is a direct assault, not only on free speech in the pro-life context, but all free speech. If the government can force you to give a message that's contrary to what you believe, there's no limit to that principle and it's extraordinarily dangerous. A government should not force another American or an organization that's formed on specific beliefs to compromise those beliefs because the government thinks that we should. When free speech is protected, we get to remain authentic to who we are. And we have the incredible privilege of helping a woman welcome that little one into her family and into our community. I, I mean, my heart was racing and pounding so fast and I was like, it was all gonna become so much more real to see a baby on that screen. That was, that was an overly overwhelming moment, but I knew after that ultrasound and after the whole experience that without a shadow of a doubt, I was going to have this baby and I knew you know, even if all my, all my deepest fears came true, I knew I would still have support and encouragement from even just the people at the clinic. And I had this beautiful baby boy, six pounds, seven ounces, and he, that has totally changed my life.